You still owe me a favor. It is time to pay your debt. What do you want? I want my old stall in the marketplace back. Sarah snatched it away from me, but she has had that spot long enough. I want her to give up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison, you pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. All right, looks like I've got no choice. You're a clever lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to force the letter on her? Let her show you her wares. And while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, I am an influential man in the city. So don't try to play me for a fool. Everybody knows by now. Show me your wares. Take your pick. I've got to go. Suit yourself. I don't believe that. Who says things like that? How's business? When the Paladins came, I first thought that it was a good business opportunity. But they let Herod make their weapons. And neither Hacka nor I make even one gold piece off them. Moreover, the farmers no longer supply us with food, and all the prices have gone up. It's only a small consolation that the Paladins are paying my hotel bill. What's the problem with the farmers? They refuse to deliver their goods. Now that the ships no longer come in, the city depends entirely on the supplies provided by the farmers, of course. An owner, the largest farmer, has hired mercenaries to protect his farm from the city guards. Otherwise, they'd simply snatch the goods for themselves. But the mercenaries don't just guard Onar's farm. They come as far as the small farms outside of town to intimidate the farmers. I saw them as I was passing Akil's farm. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes now. And he works all day too. Where will I find Akil's farm? If you go out of the east gate here and follow the road to the right, you'll come to a stairway. It leads up to Akil's farm. But I wouldn't go there now. The mercenaries are certainly still there. Everybody knows by now. Show me your wares. He simply talks too much. He'd better shut up. He can't keep anything to himself. Who says things like that? Everybody knows by now. But that's terrible. Enos be with you, stranger. If you're looking for a good selection for the traveler, then you're in the right place. But I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment. Do I look like a thief? Bah! You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. Somebody stole from you? I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduced himself as Ringaru, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days. And every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. I only looked away for a moment, and my purse was gone. And he works all day, too. What do you know about the Thieves' Guild? Listen, if you get my gold back for me from that Rengaru fellow, I'll tell you what I know. Don't tell me that. I could get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? I don't believe that, but that's terrible. And he works I'm looking for clues to the Thieves' Guild. I might well be able to help you. Listen, if you get my gold back for me from that Rengaru fellow, I'll tell you what I know. How much gold was in that purse? Fifty gold pieces. That's quite a lot in these crappy times. Why didn't you call the city guard? The guards only respond if a thief is caught in the act. And when I noticed my purse was missing, the bastard was already gone. I'll see what I can do. 
Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So think of something. I shall. That's not what I heard. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Go away. Don't tell me that. I am Hacken, a weapons dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days, especially when venturing outside of the city walls. You don't say. Tell me more about the area around the city. It's gotten too dangerous out there. Because of the bandits, for one thing, and also on account of wild beasts. Even the animals don't seem to get enough to eat in these crappy times. They're venturing closer to the city all the time. Really? How interesting. Do you know anything about the paladins? Yes. Those guys are ruining my business. All you can buy in this entire town is a short sword at most. They've helped themselves to anything that's longer than a foot and a half. In return, don't tell me I now get to live in the hotel free of charge. No, that's <laughs> typical, Who says things like that? Where do you get your that's weapons from? Harad the Smith like has been my supplier up to now. Now all he does is make stuff for the paladins. He works for those guys day and night like a madman, without pay. He thinks it's his duty. All I can offer you now is my remaining stock. Can't keep anything to him, so you had better shut up. What do you know about the bandits? What do I know about them? They robbed me on my way to the city. And I'm not the only one. They've been up to their tricks for quite a while. The militia tried to track them down, but without any success. How interesting. Who says things like that? Do you know who in the militia took part in the search? The fellow's name is Pablo. He and a few others went looking for the bandits, but they didn't find them. Do you know where I can find Pablo? He patrols around the city. You'll find him either at the Temple Square or in the lower part of town. Someone's gonna do the work. He can't keep anything to himself. Where did they hold you up? Near Akil's farm. Just go out of the city gate from here. Follow the road to the right. After a while, you'll get to a few steps. The bastards came from there. That's what I've always said. I bet they have their hideout back there in the woods. He simply talks too much. He says things like that. I'll deal with it. What? You want to take on the bandits? By yourself? You're quite a good fighter, huh? How much is the matter worth to you? That's a dangerous business. Well, it's all right with me. I'll pay you 100 gold pieces if you defeat the bandits. Who says things like that? What do you know about the disappearances of the citizens of Corinus? I have seen many pass through the eastern city gate. Some of those who came, I had never seen before in my life. And many of those who went out, never came back. But what happened the other day was really quite strange. There was this fellow who came here. I think his name is Joe. He bragged that he would soon come into some serious money. He claimed that he knew how to get into one of the city towers, where the militia keep their arms. I haven't seen him since even though I used to bump into him around the same time every day. I reported this to the militia. I thought that maybe he had been caught and thrown into the dungeon, but Lord Andre had no idea what I was talking about. He didn't even know the fella. Show me your wares. That's not what I heard. Honestly, I would myself. Hey, you. He simply talks to you. One more thing. Listen, kid, I've got important things to do right now. We'll talk again later, got it? You don't say. If I hadn't seen it with my hey. eyes. Hey! Jora says you got his money. Damn it! I'm out of here! He'd better shut up. Gotcha. Hey, 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 what do you want from me? Huh? 
You stole from Jorah in broad daylight, and he even saw you do it. So I've come to tell you that you're a lousy thief, and that... You had better hand over Jorah's gold now. <laughs> Here's the dough, man! But now let me go! I'll never do it again! I should turn you into the militia. What else do you want? I've got nothing left. Let me go, man! Why would I want to do that? In the city, it's always good to know the right people and to stay on their good side. I could put in a good word for you. I, I can't and won't say more. The rest is up to you. Get lost and don't show your face around here again. Oh, you won't regret this. Thanks, man. Due to the general situation, the forest and wilderness near the city are to be avoided for your own protection. Furthermore, any contact with the rebelling peasantry in the I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Canthor the merchant is trying to get rid of Sarah. Sarah? The weapons merchant in the marketplace? I was supposed to foist a letter on Sarah, which claimed that she's supplying weapons to Onar. I see. I shall gladly pay the bounty for that bastard. He is already as good as behind bars. Ah, there you are again. These are bad. Kanthar was trying to trick you and to get your booth for himself, but I've turned him over to the city guard. Then you've made an enemy of a dangerous man. I've known the bastard for a long time, and he's always wanted my place for himself. Take this weapon as a token of my gratitude. Hey, you! How strange. It seems to me that I have met you before, Traveler. Well, great are the mysteries of time and space. Oh, please forgive my rudeness, son of patience. I have not even greeted you yet. Welcome, friend. Take a seat on my humble rugs and enjoy a pipe in peace. Who are you? My name is Abu Jin ibn Jadir ibn Omar Khalid ben Haji al Sharidi. I am a seer and a prophet, an astrologer, and a purveyor of tobacco. What kind of tobacco do you offer? My pipes are filled with spicy, refreshing apple tobacco. Help yourself whenever you want, son of adventure. Do you have other tobacco as well? I offer only the very best tobacco. This apple plant is a symphony from my homeland, the Southern Isles. But, of course, I'm always open to trying a different sort of tobacco. If somebody should succeed in producing a really good tobacco... How's that done? Start with my apple tobacco as a basis, and then try combining it with another ingredient. This is done at an alchemist's bench, provided you know the essentials of alchemy. Where can I get apple tobacco? I shall give you 
two portions. It is up to you, in your wisdom, to do with them whatever you want. If you crave more, then direct your steps toward Zuris, the master of potions. He produces this tobacco, and he sells it too. Can you make me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee. Oh, father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, 25 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. But remember, the future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. Tell me about the future. All right, seeker of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? Orcs. They are guarding an entry. An old tunnel. The Valley of Mines. Men in shining armor. A magician. Your friend is with them. He is waiting for you. Fire! An attack! A mighty creature. The flames, many shall die. What is that? A city. Ruins. Quarhodron in Jakandar. He is summoned. Quarhodran in Jarkandar. I am sorry. Division is over. There's nothing more I can see. Can you make me another prophecy? Oh, son of the mysterious future. It is not within my power to live the veil of time. Only when time sends me another omen shall I be able to see for you again. When will that be? When the future has become present and you have continued your journey. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Due to the general situation, the forest and wilderness near the city are to be avoided for your own protection. Furthermore, any contact with the rebelling peasantry in the surrounding areas is strict. What are you doing here? I'm a novice from the monastery. I run errands for the magicians and also the paladins. I have provided the three innkeepers in the city with wine from the monastery. Who are the three innkeepers? One of them is the good man here behind the bar. Then there is Karagon, who has his tavern on the Temple Square, and Cardiff, the owner of the tavern in the Harbor District. What can you tell me about the monastery? We novices seek enlightenment in prayer to Innos and learn the principles of faith from the magicians. We serve them as we serve Innos and prepare ourselves for the union with the fire. Well, take me to the monastery. Forget it. Do you know how many creatures I had to evade on the way? When I think of all those blood flies, wolves, and goblins, I'm glad that I don't have to leave here anymore. Besides, you can't enter the monastery anyway. But why not? Entrance is only permitted to magicians, paladins, and novices. How can I become a novice? If a man feels the deep desire... Hey, just tell me what the conditions are. You need the offerings, a sheep, and... A thousand gold pieces. How am I supposed to get that much gold? Since you obviously don't know anyone who would pay that for you, you'll simply have to go to work. Where can I find a sheep? From the farmers, of course. But you won't get one for nothing. 
Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. The security measures for the protection of the upper quarter will be further strengthened. The guards on the gates are ordered to interpret the law in the strictest sense in order to prevent unauthorized entry. Don't bother me, I'm on duty. Wait a minute. And Beliar spoke to another creature. What do you know about and the bandits? They've all come from that blasted mining colony. The the but there are several splinter groups. Some are holed up in the mountains, and others have joined up with Ona, the landowner. But it's the bandits outside of town who cause the most problems. They're the reason that none of the merchants venture beyond the city gates now. What do you know about the bandits who robbed Hakan, the merchant? Oh, that matter. Don't remind me. As far as we know, they're responsible for a lot of the attacks on merchants. Those rats have crawled into their holes and don't dare come out again. Once, we were able to track them down and follow them. But we broke off pursuit in the woods outside the city. There's too many beasts roaming around there. It's much too dangerous. But there's one more thing. A few of the stolen goods have shown up in Corinus. This means that they know how they can smuggle the wares into town and sell them. Yeah, we suspect they have a fence in the city, but we haven't been able to catch the guy yet. If you find out anything about the business, remember Lord Andre has posted a bounty for the fence. Where did the bandits who had my wanted poster come from? We picked them up near the landowner's place, but they didn't look like Onar's people. I think they're part of a smaller group which is holed up in the mountains near Onar's farm. But if you intend to go there, let me warn you. Those cutthroats make short work of everyone. I'll remember that. How's the situation? At the moment, it's quiet. Only the bandits outside the city are causing us problems. And so he bade Enos to leave a part of his power in his realm so that he might restore it to the human if the beast should return. Adonis be with you. Who are you? I am Vatris, a servant of Adonis, the guardian of the divine and earthly equilibrium. What can I do for you? Can you teach me something about magic? Only the Chosen of Innos and the Chosen of Adonis are permitted to work rune magic. But common mortals can also work magic with the help of spell scrolls. I can show you how you can channel and expand your magic powers. I want to increase my magic powers. Tell me about the gods. What exactly would you like to know? Tell me about Beliar. Beliar is the dark god of death, destruction, and all things unnatural. He is in eternal battle with Inos, but Adonis guards the balance between the two. Only a few humans follow the call of Beliar. However, he grants great strength to those who do. Tell me about Adonis. Adonis is the god of the center. He is the scales of justice and guardian of the balance between Inos and Beliar. He commands the power of change. His gift is the water in all the oceans, rivers, and lakes. His priests are the water mages, just as I am a servant and priest of Adonis. Tell me about Inos. Very well. Inos is the first and highest god. He created the sun and the world. He commands light and fire, his gifts to humanity. He is law and justice. 
His priests are the magicians of fire. The paladins are his warriors. I want to make a donation to Adonos. A donation to the Church of Adonos would alleviate a part of the sins which you may have committed, my son. How much can you give? I've got 50 gold pieces. I thank you in the name of Adonos, my son. Your gold will be distributed among the needy. I've got this stone tablet. Can you tell me more about it? Those are artifacts from the old culture, which we have been investigating for some time. There are several kinds of them. Some contain information about the history of the ancient people, and that is the kind I am interested in. Bring me all of those that you can find. I shall give you an appropriate reward. Here, I've got a letter for you. For me? Indeed. This is an important message you are bringing me. I wonder how you got hold of this letter. I got it from Cavalorn, the hunter. Cavalorn? Where is he? He told me to tell you he couldn't make it and is headed for the meeting point. Whatever he meant by that. I see that you have gained Cavalorn's trust. That speaks in your favor. Tell me about the Ring of Water. And why would I do that? Cavalorn sent me to you. And what did he tell you? He said, you're in dire need of more good people. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you want to join us, son? I want to join the Ring of Water. You do? Well, that means you have already fulfilled the first requirement. What do you mean by that? I mean there must be someone among us to trust you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. But I know nothing about you at all. What do you want to know? Well, you could tell me where you come from and why you have come to the city. I carry an important message for the leader of the Paladins. What is this message? A large army is gathering as we talk, led by dragons and determined to conquer the country. Dragons? You speak of beings which until now have only been mentioned in legends. How do you know this? Zardas, the magician, told me. He sent me to warn the paladins. The necromancer? So he lives, and he sent you. Who are you really? I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Carinus. Good. Let us summarize. You are a former prisoner who has been told by Zardas, the necromancer, that dragons have come to conquer the country. And you have come to report this to the paladins. That all sounds rather fantastic, but I cannot perceive that you are lying to me. Therefore, I must assume that your motives are honorable. I want to give you a chance to join the Ring of Water. What must I do in order to join the Ring? Know that you take on great responsibility by joining the Ring. I do not let just anyone join who comes to us and asks. If you want to join the Ring, you will have to prove that you act like one of us. And that means... Before we let a young man join our ranks, he must have done a great deed for the Ring. Only then can I begin to consider letting you help preserve the balance of forces on this island. I have vanquished the Sleeper. Isn't that a great enough deed? My ears hear many a tale these days, including the story about the banning of the beast called the Sleeper. I have not heard that this was achieved by a single man, Although your eyes tell me that you are convinced you did this, that confuses me slightly. But I cannot be sure that my senses might not deceive me sometimes. I have freed many people. The barrier is gone. 
even if you can really claim responsibility for that. The great event in the Valley of Mines has not only set free the water mages and other upright citizens. All the criminals of the entire country are roaming Corinus these days, harassing the population. The bandits have already taken over large areas of land outside the city. It has become all but impossible to leave the town and return unharmed. So what would be an appropriate deed that might convince you? Corinus is facing a great enigma these days. The number of people missing from the town seems to increase almost daily. If you can explain to me what happened to them, you shall have your place within the Ring of Water. However, yes, you should take your message to the Paladins first. I consider it a matter of utmost importance. Talk to Lord Hagen. But Lord Hagen is not going to receive me. Yes, he will, no doubt about it, provided you become a member of a powerful community first. The Ring has far-reaching connections. We shall assist you in conveying your message as soon as possible. You should talk about this to Laris, whom I trust. He will help you. What community should I join? There are only three communities that have enough influence. These are the City Militia, the Monastery of the Fire Magicians, and the troop of mercenaries on the landowner's farm. The choice is yours, son. Laris can certainly assist you with this difficult decision. Talk to him about it. I shall do that. About those missing people. Yes? Wait, if you see Laris, give him this ornament and tell him that it needs to be returned. He'll know what to do with it. I must be crazy. What are you doing here? Nothing surprises me anymore. Hey, Laris, you old scoundrel. How did you get here? I was able to escape to the Valley of Mines just in time, together with Lee and some of the other boys. You remember Lee, don't you? Of course I remember Lee. I got out of the colony with him then, just after the barrier was destroyed. He and his boys are now on the farm of Onar, the landowner. He made a deal with the farmer. He and his boys defend the farm, and Onar feeds them in return. Vatra sent me. He told me to come to you when I needed help. So you've already been to see Vatras? You must have made a lasting impression on him. Otherwise, he certainly wouldn't have volunteered my name. Especially not since the matter with those missing people still hasn't been resolved. Tell me what you need. You already know what I think. Vatras gave me this ornament to bring to you. He said it is to be taken back. Of course. It's up to me, as usual. I might have known. Is it really true? I'll have to walk halfway across the island to take it back to the water mages. I can take the ornament there for you. Hmm. I think I'd better take it there myself. But you could come with me. Only, I can't leave here at the moment. I need to keep an eye on the harbor. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I can't talk about that. Vatras would have my head. So what's your business with Vatras? I've got this little agreement with the water mages, you see. What kind of an agreement? We work for them, and they see to it that our past in the penal colony doesn't get us into trouble. You're talking about the Ring of Water? You've heard of it? 
Vatras told me about it. You might have mentioned that right away. Anything's possible. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. The Ring is to the Water Mages what the Paladins are to the Fire Magicians. But, unlike the Paladins, we operate in the background. The Ring is a mighty weapon in the battle against the dangers that threaten the people of Corinus. But this only works as long as we keep the identity of all those secret who belong to the Ring of Water. So keep this to yourself. Sure. I want to join the Ring of Water. That's fine with me. But the decision about whether you will be accepted or not lies with the Water Mages alone. What did you do to impress the Water Mages? I protected them for a long time when we were still living with the barrier and they have plenty of reason to be grateful to me. What's it like to belong to the Ring? We are very different from the usual communities you can join here in Corinus. Once you're one of us, we're not going to ask anything of you that you are not ready to do. The only thing we truly require of you is to keep quiet. We work in secret and do not want to let outsiders know who our members are. We shall keep an eye on you. Everything else remains to be seen. Do you really think? I see. That's all just gossip. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? You should have known better. I'm doing what we all do. I fulfill the tasks the water mages give me. Some of the missing people were fishermen. Do you really think? They disappeared along with their boats. That's why I'm standing here, watching the harbor. Maybe something will happen yet. But you That's could exactly help me. Listen, I shall give you my aquamarine ring. Listen it signifies the that the bearer belongs to the ring of water. If you That's wear exactly my ring, the rest of us will know that you're acting on my behalf. Really Get someone to take over my duties so that I can take the ornament back. One of us is always keeping an eye on the marketplace, but I don't know whose turn it is. You had better go talk to all those standing around there. Once the right man sees my aquamarine ring on you, he will let you know. Tell him to see to it that somebody else takes over here at the harbor. I agree with you completely. That's totally awesome. Can you teach me something? Sure. I can help you become stronger and more dexterous if you like. As if I didn't have enough problems. I agree with you completely. What are you doing here? My name is Brahim. I draw maps and sell them. Since you're new here, maybe you could use a map of the city? It's quite affordable and very useful until you know your way around. Show me your maps. Come back again later. I I'm sure to have something new for you then. Why are you looking so doubtful? I see that you bear the sign of the Ring of Water. So, are you a member too? What if I am? Then I would tell you that Lares wants to be relieved from his post down at the harbor. Fine. If that's so, I'll see to it that somebody deals with it. I see. Have you got a job for me? No, oh, I already have an errand boy. Try the other merchants. I'm Zurus, Master of Potions. Do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? Then you've come to the right place. Show me your wares. I just received some new potions. My guest, Master Darren, the Fire Magician, 
brought them along from the monastery. This way, nothing could exist. to the wrong people. I have talked to Baltram. He will find someone to relieve you. Ah, very good. Then we can finally leave here. You had better keep my aquamarine ring for now. I assume it will come in handy for you until you get your own. 